So I told you about gospel free cotton. I mean, this is just uh, potentially it's a miracle. Um, so you take uh, this seed that makes gossipol, this toxic alkaloid, very poisonous, um, and you knock out through a, a technology called RNAi the ability for the seed to make that gossipol. Now the rest of the plant still has gossipol, so when the insects try and eat it, they get sick, they don't eat the plant. So the plant grows healthily, and then you can harvest that seed. There's about 500 million people that could eat from the cotton seed that's thrown away. Now I live, uh, I live out towards Caldwell now, and uh, there's a cotton gin over there, and I saw the other day huge piles of cotton seed just smoldering, just burning. Okay? So right now, and, and there's other reasons for that, aflatoxin and other things, but there's a lot of cotton seed that could be put to better use if it didn't have this gossipol. So what Curdy did is he actually made a waste product into a valuable product through GMOs. Okay? And so that's something you don't hear about as often. Unfortunately, because of these last two parts, that's what he spends all his time doing is convincing people that we should use it, we should sell it. 